Our next assignment in Revit will be to take our building that we have been given and to draw a curtain wall. This curtain wall is going to be used for the storefront of the building. So I'm going to show you, since this is the street side of the building, um, I'm going to show you a simple way to draw a curtain wall. So I'm going to zoom in here on this front wall. And then I'm going to go up here to wall. And then right here in the properties panel, I'm going to select curtain wall. Once I've selected that, you can see you have the options of having it connected to the second story um, or a specific height. I'm going to choose unconnected, but I'm going to make it 10 feet high. Once I have that selected, then I'm going to draw how long I want my curtain wall to go. I think I'm going to make it go pretty much across the entire front of the building. So I'm going to draw it there. And you'll see that it has highlighted and told me that the two walls overlap. So in order to make this work, I'm going to have to use cut geometry. So what I'll do is I go up here to cut and then I select this orange wall or my masonry wall and then I highlight and select my curtain wall and there it cuts away the masonry wall where my curtain wall exists. So if you want to see it in elevation, there you can see the masonry has been cut away and my curtain wall has been shown here. Our next step once you've created the curtain wall is to then create the mullions and add a door to this curtain wall you have here. The quickest way to do a mullion is to come up with the grid yourself. So I'll go to the architecture tab and click curtain grid. This creates a grid of lines that will then be able to attach mullions to it. You can choose to do all of the segments. So from the bo bottom of the curtain wall to the top of the curtain wall or from left to right. Or you can do one segment. If you already have it subdivided in one place, then you can do one segment on one side. So you can really get creative with how you want this to be laid out. Since this is a frozen yogurt shop, I want to include a mullion at the height of the counter that I'm going to put, which is going to be um, 36 inch, or excuse me, 34 inches, so that it is a handicap accessible counter along the window. So first, I'm going to place my door in the middle. This curtain wall is 18 feet six inches long, so I want to place this three foot door in the middle. I'm going to need seven feet nine inches on each side. Um, the quickest way to do this is to just click. Um, if you hover over the vertical, or excuse me, one of the horizontal lines, it will draw a vertical line. If you hover over a horizontal line, it will, excuse me, a vertical line, it will draw a horizontal line. Um, so I've clicked and I've drawn one grid line. Well, I want this to be seven feet nine. So I'm gonna just click where it says eight feet and I'll type seven foot nine, and it will adjust that accordingly. Then I'll draw another one here, and I need this to be three feet, so I'll just hit three feet, enter, and there you can see this one is also seven foot nine from this side of the wall. Now I wanna make my door eight feet tall, which is an oversized height. Um, it is typically six foot eight to seven foot is gonna be your standard height for a door, but I want this one to be a little bit oversized just to emphasize the height of the space. So I'm gonna drop this line two feet below the top since I know my curtain wall is 10 feet high. There you can see I have a simple set of lines. Now I wanna add another one here that is 34 inches from the floor. And there you have that. So now, once I have that set, I can click on a segment and I can remove a piece of it like that. And so there you see my door. I don't think I want to um, have these up here as either. So I'm gonna remove that portion of it as well. Do it again. 
And there you can see I have a space marked out for my door. Then I have a top transom. And then I have a mullion here as well. You can add more verticals. You can add more horizontals. That's really up to the style that you're after with your project. But I'm just going to leave this how it is just to simplify things. Now, whenever you're ready to add mullions, you can come up here back to architecture and click mullion. Over here, you can select the, from the properties what type of mullion you want to use. I'm going to go with a one and a half inch by two and a half inch rectangular mullion. And here I'm going to, you can choose to do it from all grid lines, grid line segments, or a solid grid line. I'm gonna do grid line segment. And actually, excuse me, I'm gonna do grid line and I'm going to select this one and this one. And those, this, and then I, I want them along the exterior of my, my window as well. So you can see here, now I have this opening or what will be an opening for my door, but I have this grid line that goes at the bottom of it and that's not really going to work. So one thing you need to keep in mind whenever you're working in Revit is that if you're trying to select an item or an element and it's not highlighting the correct thing, you can always rotate through with the tab button. So you hover your mouse and you hit tab and you can see it's highlighting different pieces that I might be trying to select. So if you're ever trying to figure out how to select one specific element and not everything or what might be in front, then just cycle through with pushing the tab key. So I've selected that bottom piece and I'm just going to hit delete because I don't need that there. Um, another thing I like to do is select the, uh, the top mullion and make it continuous here. You can see this is just a, a taste specific thing, but it makes my, my top mullion continuous across there and doesn't break it where these verticals come up. So here I still have this empty spot that is essentially right now just a window. But if I want to make it something different, like a door, then I'm going to cycle through tab. And then you see on this selection, I can select that one piece of the curtain panel. Next, I'll come over here to the properties panel. And I will choose edit type. And then you can come up here. You will likely not have this already loaded into your file. So you'll go to load and then you'll scroll to doors and then choose door, curtain wall, single glass. Or if you're trying to do a double glass door, you can do that as well. So you'll do that and then open it. I already have it loaded, so I'm gonna hit cancel. And then it will be available there. You can change your door handle material, your glazing, all of that if you want to as well. So I'm going to click OK. And there you can see I have converted this section into a door. This is the hinge side of the door, just like what is shown in cabinets. And so now I have my curtain wall with a door in it. If I want to see that at the floor plan level, you can go here. And this shows you a, an actual door swing within your curtain wall. And that is how you do a curtain wall with mullions and add a door.